Oh, and I should add that I have four bookshelves, so what I'm gonna do is do my smallest one and then go from there, like, as we proceed with booktube. And I might have to break it up into two parts because I talk a lot. And on and on until it stops at my Resident Evil movie books. Not movie, <laughs> I don't even have any of those Resident Evil video game books. So this is the novelization of Resident Evil Zero. The novelization of Resident Evil 1, the novelization of Resident Evil 2, and it goes on and on and on. And the Sylvia Brown prayer book, because Gary, we need to be praying. Then next, get my lighting right, is Kim Harrison's series, starting with Dead Witch Walking, The Good, The Bad, and The Undead. Every Which Way and Dead, and A Fistful of Charms. This book is off the chain. This book is what really made me love this freaking series. This book was just an adventure all in itself. What I really like, I have like fond memories of reading Kim Harrison because when I was living in Georgia and going to the art school in Georgia, I would, um, put Georgia, I'm so country, I would um, go to, between classes, I would have two hours between classes and between those classes, I would go to McDonald's and read Kim Harrison till I had to go to work. So it was awesome sauce back then. And then next we have Nora Roberts, not necessarily Nora Roberts, but my J.D. Robb, um, hardback collection I like the sound of that um, yeah anyway starting with uh, divided in death fusions in death um, survivor in death which is really good this right here promises in death oh my god this book was so freaking fracking good like I cried at the end of this book because they did the lady in this book they did her so freaking wrong man like they set her up so good and killed the shit out of her, and it was not freaking right. So I cried at the end of that book. And then the most biggest disappointment, which is New York to Dallas. And I went on ahead and read a celebrity, got halfway through, through the delusional, and I just gave up on the series. But I really do plan on going back because I miss the characters. And then we're going into the... Um, I'm trying to get my head right here. The mass, not mass market, the hardbacks of Kim Harrison, Spire for a few demons more, the Outlaw of Demon Wells, which is off the chain. And then we have um, White Witch Black Curse, Kim Harrison Black Magic Sanction, Pale Demon. I read these, it took me like two years to even get through these two books because I had kind of slowed down reading the series. And then I bought The Perfect Blood and Ever After that came out last year. I got 20 pages into this book and I was like, nah, you know what? She talking too much about a man. I ain't got time for that. So I was like, look, we just gonna put this series on haul, on haul, on hold. But this year she just released her latest book and the next book, which is the last book in the series comes out in September. So I'm thinking about picking these up in May and finishing this up. The Hollows Insider Guide, which I don't really know why I got because it's not all that. Another Sylvia Brown book, Visits, uh, Visits from the Afterlife, which is about ghosts. You know, I love ghosts. And then, um, Jewel Parker Rhodes' Voodoo series, starting with Voodoo Season, Yellow Moon, and Hurricane. Good, okay, awful. Can you see my finger? Good, okay, awful. Yep, that's the order in which they was. They was good, okay, and awful. My hand is so big in this camera. Okay. When the Night Whispers by Savannah Wells. And which is AKA uh, AKA Valerie Wilson Wesley, who writes the Tamara Hill Mystery series. Then we got Devil's Wake, Tanana Review, and Steve Barnes, the married African American couple who's writing about zombie fiction. And those Across the River, which was okay. I read it, of course, because um, Charlene Harris had um, did a blurb or something on it. And um, yeah, it was okay. Like, it was just okay. It wasn't all that, like, I'm scared and everything, and I just got to put this book down. And then last, we have L.A. Banks' Vampire Huntress series. Oh, my God. I'm tired and I'm hot. <laughs> Shit. Um, first book in the series is Minion. Now, I know, I know, I know this book gets a lot of criticism because it's not that well written. It's very hard to get into, but I try to urge and encourage people to keep reading the series. 
because by the second book, The Awakening, it picked up. This book was a lot better than the first. At first, there was supposed to be two books in one, but she had to split them because of, I don't know, publishers. I don't know what the hell they be doing up in them offices in New York. But this book was really good. It picked up on the series. And about time you get to the third book here, The Haunted I Swear to God, like, it, this is just, 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 just too freaking good. Like, I could not put this series down. And I guess I should tell you what this book is about. Of course, you see a black woman on the cover. She is a Neteru. It's an Egyptian term for something like a savior, I believe, or someone in the light. But basically, she's a vampire huntress. And so, I just thought that was badass that there was a black girl killing vampires. Because it was about time, especially because I love Buffy. And then the fourth book in the series is The Bidden. This was when I just knew this series was the one because I cried after finishing this book like I cried like a baby I'm telling you I was just in that you couldn't console me I was like you know what if all of y'all just just give me my books I don't want to go to work and then the forbidden and then the damned which was okay I got into the series when this book came out and then the forsaken and then the wicked the covers are cool I should show them the forsaken the Wicked, The Curse, uh, The Darkness, The Shadows, and I'm making a mess. And the last book, which is The 13th. This series is really good, but it kind of dry up just a little bit. Just a touch, like her, her writing gets a little... You know how um, people, when they pour liquor they pour a little bit too much it gets heavy-handed well that's the same thing that's that's the point i'm trying to make but anyway i think it's very 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 much reading um it, it has a diver diverse cast of characters and i'm babbling but anyway denise oh my god i'm so hot this light is just shining on me like christmas on top of jesus and i got to put it up somewhere but anyway denise this is my first bookshelf tour i hope you enjoyed it i will get to this other one yeah, it goes on and on. This other one's like some other time. But anyway, thanks guys. I appreciate it so much.